dyno today, we've got a 2022 Camaro. This is going to be your 6.2 liter. Customers come in, Chandler, he has a couple of modifications on this car. He started with an exhaust system, he went and had the manifold ported, and now he's put uh, long tube headers. So the manifold porting and the exhaust system probably run okay, but right after you put long tube headers, you're going to have to get your way to a dyno shop very quickly. So he's here today to have this tested, tuned. While he's behind the wheel, we'll license it and we'll start working our way through the process, get the air fuel correct, get the air modeling correct, make it idle, make it start, make it run good, and then we'll see what we can do for horsepower. We started out with um, the modifications on this and just getting it to kind of run and idle and setting all the base tables so that they work. And on our first kind of official pass after we clean the tires off, we can see that the car is now back up to basically where a stock car would have been. 363 horse, 384 foot-pounds to the wheels. Uh, Wally made a couple of changes and like he always does, he's going through and he's working through the tune correctly to get the air fuel correct first. And that's all we're working on. So if you look at it, you'll see our torque curve is up, 386 foot-pounds, 363 horse. So then we come back here, made a nice little change, and we immediately see we come up to 405 foot-pounds, 377 horsepower. This is always at the wheels. We're not at the crank. Um, we're not calculating at the crank. We're not guessing what it would be at the crank. We're simply measuring what it's putting to the ground, the real horsepower out in the real world. Okay, so then we go back to our last pass that we just finished, and we go from 405, and we go from 5.08 seconds, which is always the same pass, and we go up to 384 horse. So we went from 363 to 377 to 384, and 413 foot-pounds. So that's where we are right now. Um, knowing that we've done a lot of these, and I know where they end up when they're dead stock, I know where we're going to go with this, and it's going to be quite a bit higher than this, but again, we're doing fueling. You have to lay the base groundwork before you can go any further. Okay, it's become my favorite and my least favorite question. How much power am I going to make? I don't really know down to the number, but we're pretty close because we do a lot of cars here. We've tuned a lot of Camaros. So today we finished up the tune on this, and the, the conclusion here is that we ended up with 460 foot pounds at the wheels. 440 horse at the wheels. Car's quick, runs good, starts good, it's safe, and the Customer's going to have a lot of fun with this, so Chandler can go home and be one of the fastest cars in the Cornwall area. 